All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So yesterday I went over how to wire a receptacle with two wires, and I showed you both versions um, with the wire nuts and without the wire nuts. So this is with the wire nuts. As you can see, I have pigtailed all three of my wires here, ground, neutral, and hot. Um, so if you only have the grounds pigtail, that's okay if that's the way that you're doing it. Um, so I just want to show you guys how to install a receptacle today. Um, so first you're going to get your wire strippers. Um, and these are pretty much the length that I want them to be right now. So I'm just going to curl my ground wire. And if you're doing this after the fact, like at a job site, they might be covered in paint. So you might want to scrape them off um, with the side of your strippers or um, kind of like um, if you haven't curled the wire yet, then you can kind of put the wire through the hole and just kind of drag it back and forth all the way around. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and strip these real quick. Or I mean curl them. Um, and I'm just going to start by putting on the ground right there. And once you um, stick that on there, sometimes I like to just um, compress it a little bit just to make sure it's not going to fall off and gets a nice connection. Um, you can use a drill on this. I'm just going to show you this by hand real quick. So I'm going to start with my Phillips and then I do like to uh, tighten it down with a flat blade just to get it extra tight. As you can see, I'm getting like an extra eighth turn right there maybe. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys this part. So you can also um, curl these wires real quick. I think that was that was a 16, so oh well. So put it on the 14 gauge solid stripper. Let's see, let's see. Getting these all confused now, so. All right, so you can either stick these ones in the back, neutrals on the neutral side, like this, in the back. Okay, maybe you can't see that. So you can stick these in the back, like that, through the back hole for the 14 gauge wire. Um, or you can just curl all of them and put them on the side. It really just depends on um, what you want or what your company wants. Um, I'll show you another one that curls. Just going to curl this real quick. And there is a certain way to do this um, if you're going through and scratching all these out. Um, like one side, you're going to want all the curls facing down. And on the hot side, you're going to want the curls facing up. Um, just because when you turn the screw, that's the way that you want it to, to be in there. You want the loop going the same direction as the screw. So when you tighten it down, it tightens it in. If I have the loop backwards, like this, then when I tighten it, it's gonna push the screw um, out of the terminal or around the screw. So you're gonna want these on this side, these curls facing up and these curls facing down on the left side for the grounds and the neutrals. Um, so once again, just you can, for these ones, I don't really worry about tightening it down too much. You can if it's a little bit long, but um, just depends on if the wire is a little bit more open or not. Um, if I want to give it a little extra pinch. Um, so yeah, there's one way you can do it or you can just um, take them all off or take the other one out and then put them all on the screw. So there's another example of on the screw and that one is an example of in the back. If you need to remove um, one of these wires out of the back, you don't have to cut it or anything. Basically just hold the wire and then twist the device and it'll eventually come out. Sometimes you have to give it a lot of pressure but as you can see I've already got it out about half of an inch or a quarter inch so you just have to fight it and then you'll see that where it was in there and there's little teeth marks on it so if you want me to show you this one just curl that real quick and then stick it on the screw tighten it down And there you have it. So that's all you got to do for your device. And then you can screw it into the box. I don't have my drill on me. Actually, it's over there. But next, you would just, um, you can throw a piece of tape around it if you want to. It doesn't really matter. It's a plastic box. But make sure when you put the wires into the box, when you fold them into the box, that your ground wire doesn't come up and start touching um, a ground screw or um, a hot screw on this side. So just make sure, give it a, 
give it a good old look-see once you stick it in the box. Um, make sure they're not touching. You can always take a screwdriver and kind of just bend the wire down, get it out of the way, push it back like that, and then it'll be completely out of the way. Let me show you that real quick. So kind of just push that out of the way, bend it down um, like that so it's not touching any of your screws on the side. And then of course you would just screw the device into the box with these screw holes right here. I'm not gonna show you that right now, but that's what you would do next. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is a um, how to install a receptacle with two wires. Um, and these were pigtailed, um, or I also showed you the way that it's not pigtailed um, for the neutrals and hots. So hopefully this guy's helped you out. Hopefully maybe learn some extra tips. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. It'll help out the channel. Um, and it, also if you enjoyed it, um, check out the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.